Chattanooga's horse is that glorious navy blue we've always played in. So, but yeah, easy to tell which one's apart. National playing from right to left on your screen. And uh, so both players, in, both goalkeepers in green shirts, so though Nationals is a little brighter. More neon green and Phil D'Amico's uh, sort of uh, grass green. But as they aren't going to uh, get close together, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> you guys tell them apart pretty easily. So everybody's ready, who are going to make the noise? And we're off. Nashville, the kickoff. Let's see what Nashville got up their sleeves. Now they want to play tonight. They're going to come out in the attack. And they're going to be uh, taking it steady. So underway for just joining us. This is the second game of the night that's just kicked off. Everything was a bit late because of a rain delay, because of thunderstorms early this afternoon, and then some extra time. So if you're joining us late, you haven't missed a thing. You're about to watch the Chad Newton game live right now. We'll bring you every minute of the whole thing. Nashville already probing. We talked about this in the last game, actually. You mm -hmm. want to score quickly and really and really save some energy for tomorrow in case you do win. Right. It is a bit of a management thing to do. Alan Webb getting in there quick. Deep ball. Too long for Caleb Cole. Bit too much on that one. Alan Webb showing his speed. Combining well with Mason Walsh, both the Brits doing their thing together so well that they've done the whole season. Goal kick to Nashville. Joshua Gepper gets it about midfield. Again, it's different for Nashville because their, their field is much smaller than this one. So, as we saw when we played them, a, a goalkeeper can almost kick the entire length of the field. And here it's a you know, full size field here, so it's a little different to play on. I wonder if that'll be to Chattanooga's advantage. They used to play on the big field and national or not. They may find they have just a step or two short when it comes to a run or a cross. We will find out. Hooligan, certainly in good voice. And of course, they've had an extra hour of beer drinking to really get into the mood, so uh, they should be very loud tonight indeed. <laughs> well, nice just a bit than usual. That's it. Storny Hurst check breaking down that attack nicely. Nashville sure getting it back, trying to make something happen here. And coming in this wing, broken up by Ocean Lima. Sanchez controlling the midfield. Three on him, and that's a bit too much to ask anybody. It's a long ball there. Alan Webb's on it. Can he keep it in? Yes, Looks he like can. He Has he got any support? And offsides. And he's a yeah, callback for offsides, but it's a good idea. They use, uh, use his speed there. It'll really make a difference. It's a bit outnumbered. A lot of Chattanooga defenders on them. Nashville giving away a throw there. Chattanooga's half. Steal that ball away. They know Sanchez is the danger man. Wilson Lima stepping up to defend. Still some work to do. And that runs out. Right in Nashville corner. I think. 
good aggressive start for Nashville. It is. We didn't see that in the last game, but uh, they're not holding back. They know they have to go for it. And this is a big chance for them. They ended up fourth in the table. That really, you know, much glory out of that. Um, so they win tonight. It's a big deal. So yeah, they have everything to play for. And of course, the winner of this game gets to play a more tired Asheville City SC. If you were able to win this game in regulation, it's a it, bit of an advantage for you. Well, that's it. So lots of good things about it. Good shot. Oh, it's passed back. So I thought it was having a shot. <laughs> trying to come forward here. Touch on from Zeka, but a little astray there, and it runs out for a goal kick to Asheville. Nashville. That's silent N, honestly, folks. I'm saying Nashville, really, not Asheville. <laughs> <laughs> the N is silent. Didn't you know that? <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> well, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Even though the sun's gone down, it's still a warm night. So, uh, Welcome to summertime in Chattanooga. Summertime in Tennessee, exactly, that's right. So, uh, certainly the, uh, the Greenville Asheville game is a harder one with the, the weather, but uh, this is still pretty warm. A couple of collisions there, referees letting play go on, playing the advantage. As you say, Nashville are really uh, playing a much more aggressive game than they have in the past. They know they really have to make something happen tonight. a lot of noise to indicate they don't agree with that. A little of a high boot, but referee lets the play go back to good. Alan Webb trying to make something happen here. Again, tall defender getting in the way. That's uh, Frank down number four, keeping Nash Lillard. He's going to have a, a busy night with Alan Webb on his tail. I can tell you that. And Mason Walsh mixing up with uh, the defenders win in the corner for Chattanooga. Chattanooga's first one. And they saw one corner. Take it, yeah. Chattanooga can make something out of this. They go short, go long. It's in the middle of the box. Oh, right across. Everton Lima gets hold of it. Sneaks away into Nashville's favour. A foul called on that one. That, uh, nothing doing out of that today. Crossing mid nice field, touch. good ball. Right to Zeka. One touch, Zeka settles it down, chips it across. Long. Chattanooga keep possession very tidily. Long shot there. Walsh hungry for that first goal, you can tell. That was a bit too much over the top of the bar. And he's uh, keen to get on the score sheet like he did in the Lanza. <laughs> he loves to do it early. He does. Collision there with Juan Sanchez. Chanu's kick taken fast. Caleb okay, Cole looking for support. Spreads it wide. Over to Gabby Torres on the left wing. Gabby Torres getting past two defenders. Looking for the chip in. There he goes. Oh, Zeka. Oh, a cracking shot from Zeka. Cheeky bicycle kick. That would have been a great goal. Made the goalkeeper stretch. <laughs> oh. Zeka looking for the blood immediately. The crowd love that one. The long ball. 
Over the top. Oh. oh. He tried to keep it Lots in. Lots of draw. on a web there. Keeping control of the angle is so narrow to get the ball in. Great move. The long ball was getting behind Nashville's defence. Chattanooga really taking advantage of the space that Nashville leaving. It's Walsh coming down the wing into the middle. Over to Zeka slides but gets up. And he's offside. called offside. I mean just the offside rule has come to Nashville's rescue a couple of times so far tonight. Chattanooga starting to put the pressure on, turn up the pace. Ten minutes in, nil-nil. But it's not going to stay that way for long, I'm pretty sure. on the near side, brings it in the centre, nice touch, Walsh who has check, Hernandez, oh, stole it away from him there. <laughs> it's a good athletic move there by, by yeah. Nashville. It was. Again, it's about being first to the ball, isn't it? That's the trick. Walsh coming in, pushed down on the edge of the box. Was that inside? Was it a penalty? It's a kick on the edge of the box, but it was right on the edge. Yeah, referee's given a free kick. It's right on the 18-yard line, on the edge of the box, rather. Dangerous place. One more step forward, that would be a penalty kick. So Nash having to defend a very difficult free kick here. Colin Hernandez over it. Zeka, let's see it. Hernandez taking the kick. He's got three targets in the box. Let's see if those drills in training pay off. Here we go. Even a low deflected up and out of the corner. Nashville defender gets his body between the ball and the goal, but uh, pays the price. That looks rather painful. Uh, referee's calling for a medical help. Or at least someone to look at him. Here comes the trainer. It's uh, Elliot Goodwin, 23, taking the knock there. Yeah. Well, and has got a good, a good leg on him, so it's pretty hard. So I'm sure that hurt. Yeah, anytime you lay your body out in front of the ball like that, that's something that can happen. It certainly <laughs> does, and it always hurts. I've had a few of those over the years. Slight break here for the in play while they sort the player out. I think he's okay. He's back up on his feet. Trainer can leave the field. All right, another corner of the Chattanooga. Swings in, touched in. Oh, oh, Hernandez. Hernandez trying to emulate uh, Felipe Oliveira's goal last weekend against Greenville. <laughs> Cheeky little back touch. So, don't forget, folks, Chattanooga FC camps still available. Go to chattanoogafc.com slash camps and you can register your child, beginner or expert. They'll get training and they'll get to play with the best players in town. Loose ball, Everson Lima, oh, deflected out again, second shot, still can't get it in, and a foul given. Everson Lima touches the uh, Nashville defender, Nashville catch their breath. And I'll uh, sprinkle some of these in here, Market City Center, Chattanooga FC's official player housing partner, luxury living at the center of it all at 728 Market Street in the heart of downtown Chattanooga.
And Ash were trying to come back into the game a bit. Feel tired of being in their own half all the time. Good tack for you, Aztec. Gives away a throw that stops Nashville in their tracks. Nash looking to make something happen. Walsh again trying to make his mark on this. Look at him attacking the keeper. Oh. Oh, he nearly got it. Oh, oh. You've got to love somebody who wants to score that badly. And you have Jet clearing it to Lima. Lima's big legs reaching that one up and clearing it. So flexible. He's great. He really is. Good cross from Nashville. It's Jordan Thompson on the end of it to clear it away. And Gubby Torres brings it up left wing. He's got three ahead of him. Nash will break up the cross. Nashville's turn to try and come forward. Nice long ball, you has check. Streaks in and gets the ball. Clean tackle. Touches the ball and not the man. Sounds a good clean tackle. That'll be a Nashville corner. Use this break in the action to tell you that Bellhaven University need to finish or begin a degree. Come visit Bellhaven centered around what you already know. Deep into the box, D'Amico grabs that one, says thank you, picks it up, and corner goes to nothing for Nashville. 15 minutes played, still nil-nil. Chattanooga with the best chances so far tonight. But you have to finish him. You have to finish him. You're right. We've already seen one game. That's it. <laughs> what it looks we like. When lots of good, <laughs> skillful play, but no finishing, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah. That's what we're about tonight, folks, is goals and goals. Ash will change the size, trying down the right wing. Trust up the box. Trust broken up. Zeka going for the ball. We're getting it back. Chanuga retrieving that one. Sanchez to Hernandez. Hernandez to Walsh. To Hazjek. Good long shot. All the way out to, to Webb. Nice to play. Slow down a touch. Not too much. Nice ball there, but way offside. Outside. Way offside there, number 24. Chuki Aru, definitely offside there. Yeah, Chuka. The right? Chuka Aru. Yeah. But the right idea, but uh, a few steps too far. Just jumped the gun there. Yeah, nice touch there from Caleb Cole. Torres crossing it. Can he get. No, he runs out of room. Runs out of real estate. Goal kick to Nashville. EPB Fiber Optics, like Chattanooga FC, they've chat they're Chattanooga's local heroes, bringing our area ultra-fast, reliable, and in an innovative fiber and cable. CFC is powered by EPB. Ahead of there, Webb lurking. Zeka coming through too, but Nash never get away. Down. We have to find a different way to come forward. Nice touch there. Nashville, oh, and a mistake from Juan Sanchez. That's Nashville coming. There's an opportunity. Can we get a shot away? Still can't get clear. Still can't get a shot in. Blocked again. Offside. Very frustrating for Nashville. Town will get the space to shot when they do it to block. Chattanooga did a really good job of holding a slightly higher line there, so Nashville couldn't leak into D'Amico. Alright. D'Amico with the kick. Moving a play 
players forward so we've got a couple of targets to pick from. Headed by Zeka and the referee's called a foul. Yeah, there's a bit of push in there. Ends up one of the national players on the floor, number three, which is David Brooks. This might be the loudest they've been since the beginning of the season. It could be. It's an important game. Nashville getting the shot in. Oh, into the side netting. First real shot on goal from Nashville there. Corner kick. Plenty of targets in the box. Just about everybody's up for this one. Swings it in. Far post. Everson Lever can't quite get hold of it. Comes back out. Nash will clear it. Catch their breath. And as far as Caleb Colt, who will hoof it back towards the 18 yard box. Chandler will try and make something happen here. Walsh ducking and diving. He's going to pass it to, to Webb. A little bit strong. Webb keeps it in, though. Sanchez, Hernandez. I mean, and broken down by Nashville. And as far as Caleb Cole, Hernandez gets it back. Good job by Caleb Cole on multiple yeah. efforts keeping the possession alive. He's been solid keeping it going. There he goes again, all the way across to Zeka. Slides past Zeka's boot. You have to chase it back. Gary Torres with a great tackle there, slows things right down. Gives everyone a chance to get back on that one for Nashville attack. Sanchez fighting for that one, using the strength there, very good. Actually trying to get someone to happen. For space. Walsh again coming through and foul called. The referee liked the way he touched the national player on the back, but it wasn't that much of a push. Crowd not impressed with that one. So free kick to national. Box. Get it away. Sanchez. Nashville steam in, give away, throw in. Now one of the things that you can see pretty much visibly is Nashville's got a really tall team, and that's. They do. It's hurting Chattanooga just a little bit when mm -hmm. they go into it attack. Is. Keeping 
pressure on. He really is, isn't he? He's, he's turned the screw on the national defence over against the Sharks. So again, national are still spending a lot of time in their own half right now. Which sides again? <laughs> He's moving uh, all over the place. He is. Hernandez going for the diving header didn't quite come off. And Nashville trying to get the break on. But again, Sanchez there to break it up. Walsh and Webb doing their thing. Look at that. What a lovely touch. And a foul on Walsh. Nashville can't watch them. Got a bit of a knock on there. He's grabbing the hamstring. I think he is. I think he's Bit of a knock there. Let's see what the referee does. He may have to get that looked at. Wait and see. The players get a little water break. All that's going on will be like, I want to thank the sponsors of Brilliance Stream tonight. Volkswagen of Chattanooga, CHR Memorial, the Center for Sports Medicine, and of course, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Thank you all for making the stream possible tonight. So, what do you think so far, Keel? I like it. I, I... Obviously, I uh, watched the the last game we did. This okay. Week that and uh, it's it's pretty easy to see that both Nashville and Chattanooga are being far more aggressive than Greenville and Asheville City were. Okay. Early on, and and that's good to see because that means we'll possibly see a few goals here. Well, that's what you want to see for sure. And Chattanooga's had a few good opportunities just haven't been able to seal the deal. That's right, and that's really what it's about, as we said, getting in the net. Nashville got one of their players now with cramp too, so the uh, weather's not helping. I'm sure they're getting a bit uh, dehydrated. Yeah, humidity. Yeah, it's, uh, the, sun, catch the sun's gone, but it's still not, not very cool down there. This nice ball, Hernandez gets hold of it. Tries to turn round two defenders, can't do it, but there's Walsh. Goes out for a, out for a Nashville throw, interesting. That was going to be a Chattanooga throw, but oh well. It is hard to see against that wall, so. It's hard for us to see, but the referee's right down there, they should uh, be able to tell. You would hope. You would hope. <laughs> that will give him for climbing on the back by Chattanooga. Cleared by Juan Sanchez. Puts that out safely for a throw to Nashville. Daniel Sassano with the throw. That's really boxed in that side, aren't they? Ball deflects out. Jordan Dunson gets rid of it. Sends it into the Nashville half. Both teams get a chance to reset. Still there, Alan Webb, he's got Hernandez outside him. He's got Zeka. And doesn't get rid of it fast enough. And they, yeah, not fast enough to get the release the pass. Back to tell them Cole in the midfield now. Sanchez is clearance deflected. Great tackle from Caleb Cole. Referee calls out a foul. Really? He did not touch the man at all. He got the ball. Would not have been my call. But Me neither. Here we are. Chatting, they're really focusing on the clean tackle. Some teams don't go for that, but Chatting, they try to reduce the number of fouls and play tackles clean. The referees don't always spot it, so free kick to Nashville. From about 30, 34 yards out, so they can make something out of this. 
keeping in mind up on the edge of the box. Pushing and shoving and ducking and diving and straight through to Miko's hands. Good anticipation, a good read of the ball. Chatting nearly out off again. Everson Lieber is an acre of space, there's plenty of time to do something with it. It's a big boot of his, there it goes. A spin on that ball too, so it doesn't go too far. Yeah, Torres gets it. And he's got Caleb Cole loose in the left wing, back to Torres. To Hernandez. Walsh again now on the right wing. Chandler will keep Nashville guessing. And Walsh dispossessed there. That's the second time that's happened to him. Uncharacteristic. Jordan Dunson coming in. Pressure in Nashville midfield. Nashville starting to get some better passes together. Get some possession. Crosses. Chatley need to watch him because he's going to be the one he's been good in defence and he's been good at making those long crosses towards the box. Need to give him a little less space to do his thing, I think. Good ball. That's nice. Zeka. Back to Hernandez, touched on. Far side. Nice turn. Good shot. Oh, keeper gets behind him, puts it out for a corner. It's a good save by Joshua Gepper. Got there at the last second. So Webb and Hernandez combining so well there. Very dangerous attack. Now the corner of the Chattanooga. See if we can make something happen out of this. They've got all their players except two in the six-yard box. They're a little concerned about defence, I would say. <laughs> Nine defenders back. <laughs> that tells me they want to defend pretty heavily. <laughs> I, I would agree. <laughs> Here it comes in. Can't make it happen. No, Nash will get it out. Torres has come right across this side of the field. Puts it in. It's Nash just hard to get Nash into will that. read that one well. And Nash Wall will break in now. Trying to set it across the ball, but you know, across the box didn't quite happen. The, the idea was good. It's kind of how I play soccer now. The idea is great, but the execution is terrible because I cannot. <laughs> I haven't got the body of a 20 year old man anymore. <laughs> right. Well, I do, but it's in the basement. The police haven't found it yet. There's a nice ball, Caleb Cole, coming down the wing. Nashville has to knock it out. So, Chandler to put the pressure back in again. Yes, That's good play. Went again. again, getting through it. Can't get past three, but he can get past two. He nearly got past the third. Yeah, there's a little limit to I think passing two is usually about as far as most people can go. Passing three is unusual, but after that, yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, doesn't stop players trying it, of course. Actually, we'll trying to get something going again, intercepted by Hugh Hazcheck. Zeka. Back to Zeka, trying to get Webb going. Actually, we'll trying to get rid of it quickly. Again, outnumbered by blue shirts. Has Jet covering. D'Amico picks up. And Nashville stifled once more. Fernandez trying to find Webb, who's on the left side now. 
it's a pretty accurate pass. It's very good. A lot of teams, teams try those long passes. Not many can execute them like that. We got a foul against Chattanooga. Free kick. Swings it in the box. Touched on. And that for a goal kick to Nashville. Bounced off of a couple of heads before it went out. It did, the last one being, of course, one of our heads. <laughs> So, 10 minutes of regulation play to go in the first half. Still 0 0. But Chattanooga definitely knocking on the door more than Nashville are in terms of uh, goal scoring. And you has Jeff penalised there, a foul given for climbing on the back of like McNamara from Nashville. Chattanooga players not happy with that. I think that was more of a 50 50 ball than a Anything aggressive, but the referee sees it differently. We just like to thank our sponsors, Captain White McGarvey Eye Care, for bringing on this moment of refereeing. <laughs> Go to them to see more clearly. Gomez over the free kick for Nashville. Swings it in the box. Flicks it on, but nobody there to take advantage of it. D'Amico grabs it and says, let's go. That's Very quick clearance to Alan ball. Webb. Look at that. Alan Webb knocks it down. Philip Cole gets it. He's got Zecca. Is he going to go on his own? Let's throw things down a bit. Sanchez, Wyatt Hernandez. Here's Nashville trying to get back. Nice touch to you, has check. Hernandez trying to feed it through and do the communication break down there. Substitution. Well, they, uh, fill it. And again, another foul given there against Nashville this time. David Brooks. Zeka got a knock. I thought they'd have watched David Brooks, didn't I? He's, uh, he's a good physical defender. So. He just timed it a little wrong. He did, but uh, Zeka's on the ground. And he's back up and he's all right. Referee having a word with uh, Mr. Brooks. All gesticulating and waving, but no card. Which is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so free kick to Chattanooga. Hernandez talking about it. Can't really score from there, but it's a good place for a set piece. Hernandez pushed out by Nashville. Good defensive header. And Nashville trying to break. They're going to get by Dunstan. Dunstan, nothing gets past Jordan Dunstan, and there's your proof. And he's yes. calling a foul, which it seems a bit extreme. As both players were pushing fairly evenly, but. He's uh, calling a throw in, I thought it was a foul. Okay, folks, just a throw in. 
and it helps you be aggressive if you're Chattanooga to know that you have Jordan Dunstan and Emerson Lima back there. Well, that's right. It gives you a good chance to uh, be more creative because you know your defense is going to mop up things that happen like that. Long throw from Nashville, pushed away. Wild shot, and that's a field goal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's three points for somebody. Oh, wrong game, sorry. It's high enough to do it. Just about. Chattahoogan swinging somewhere over the rainbow on that one. As that ball went way off. <laughs> All right, five minutes regulation to go. Back in the play with Chattanooga. Chasing it into the Nashville box. They have to hoof it away. Right under the uh, shadow hooligans. <laughs> he has checked with the throw. Zeka, you has checked, has it again. It's Walsh. Under pressure to the Chattanooga throw. You have to check long to Zeka. Nashville read it well, blocked it. Chattanooga giving the ball away a bit too cheaply, and there's a foul on Jordan Dunstan by Nashville. One hander in the back. There it was, wasn't it? One handed one under there. Sharper. I'm sure these passes go there intended. See, Kevin Hernandez combining well. Has Torres on the far side. He's got Cole right outside him. Caleb Cole bringing it in, coming in, two on him. Still Caleb Cole. Needs a bit of support. Gets it. Torres. Hernandez. Coming in, no. Nope. Tell that's Webb. <laughs> Good cross. Keeper grabs it. Probably needed one more pass there. I think it did. But you go what you've got, I guess. <laughs> that's true, we'll see able to get one past Josh Gepper, but haven't been able to so far. Right. It's Caleb Cole, left wing. He's got the overlap with Webb. Here comes Webb. And Nash to slide in for the tackle there. This would be a great time to get a goal. Go in at half time, one up. See if Chattanooga can do it. Again, Nashville getting good at reading these balls and breaking them up. And you can see these crosses and they're able to uh, anticipate a little better. Uh oh, that one slipped away. A little mental. Yeah, a little mental, mental, little mental moment there. Started looking upfield before the ball actually got to his feet. Construction there, Walsh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He got a bit of scrap there. And that's not good. National players on gang up on Mason Walsh. It wasn't like that at all. He responds. Referee having to uh, have a word and separate people. Let's hope it's nothing too serious. See if national players are hurt or they're doing an email. Let's find out. Uh, well, I think Roy King might actually be hurt. I know okay. that David Brooks isn't. <laughs> Just how late he got there. And right, right. Let's and, see. Uh, Let's see what's going on. We'll get a little bit closer. Yeah, they appear to be alive. Um, don't see any blood. Maybe some bruised egos. And uh, if we gang up on Mason Walsh, I think they're getting tired of him, getting past him all the time. 
So everybody appears to be all right. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Yeah, referee's getting a red card on Mason Walsh. So you have to leave the field. Take no further part in this. He's not happy. Not happy at all. In fact, nobody's happy about that, really. I did, I did think that Mason Walsh crossed the line uh, when Roy King was yeah. down and he tried to step over him. It but was a slight overreaction, he, but... Da David Brooks acted like he was headbutt. Well, they didn't know what, they were not. dead. No, there was two, there was two mm -hmm. Neymar moments there from Nashville, for sure. So, Mason takes a long walk back to the locker room. And Nashville get a free kick. Extra time, folks, at the end of the first half. Fans chanting words that we can't repeat. Well, indeed. All right, the Ash will get back into play. Good clearance there, Jordan Dunstan. Nashville feeling they've got an edge here. Nashville trying to leave a player down. We shall see. Trying to get a shot in, but uh, nothing going from that. They do pick up a corner. Nashville's turn to put a bit of pressure on at the end of the first half. Do with swing it in deep in the box, still can't get it clear. Phil Domenico blocks it. Great save, cleared away. Unbelievable oh, goalkeeping! What a great goalkeeping! It's right in front of it and blocks it with the entire body. Now, she's in a very good shot, that's their best chance of the game so far. Gets it, clears it upfield. See how it hurts Chattanooga to miss a Mason Walsh. It does, it does. Yeah. You really need a creative attacking player like that, and it does leave a hole. Let's see who steps up and fills it. Because somebody will. We're trying to get something going here in the box. Trying to get a shot off, but again, you has check. Strong right foot. Clears the way. I think Chattanooga looking to get the half time and reset themselves. And they will do nil nil at half time, folks. Chattanooga with the uh, lion's share of the attack. Lots of booze the referees there. From the crowd. Not happy with that at all. Big drama there, of course, no goals. Mason Walsh making drama, not for the right reason. So, Chattanooga will play the second half with 10 men. What do you think of that? So, lots of drama in the first half. Hope you're uh, recharge your batteries and ready for 45 minutes, or possibly more of great soccer. <laughs> possibly more, possibly who knows? More, because we've seen it earlier today. We had one, one game go to extra time. Maybe we'll have two. 
We'll be here to bring it every minute. Alan Webb kicking us off, Chattanooga. A slightly different formation. Looking to fill that, that little gap. Alan Webb streaking up to keep us up to it. Nash will change their game a bit to suit there. One man advantage. Subs warming up, I expect we'll see quite a few substitutions to bring on some fresh legs later on, but uh, nobody from Nashville warming up just yet. Torres, Caleb Cole, setting for Torres, free, Torres gets the touch, and it's across the goal, there's the goal, unbelievable, Alan Webb, number 14, put one man down and to put together a run like that, unbelievable Absolutely heart, absolutely brilliant, in the uh, 47th minute, Alan Webb, crowd's going mental, watch the replay, here we go, Torres stretches, Alan Webb. Thank you. 1 0. That was a pin. That's quite an accurate pass from Torres. Jordan put Nashville back on, <laughs> on that one. Wow. CFC's got to be careful here because, of course, you go and score that's, one. Well, that's it. Sometimes you give one up. As we've seen so many times this season and previous seasons, Great goal from the Welshman, Alan Webb. The magician of Clan Dudno. Well played, sir. Nashville might be the lowest seeded team in this tournament, but they are looking dangerous today. They are. They're playing better than they've played all year, actually. I have to say, they, they've really upped their game. Chattanooga to have a lead to protect. See what they do. Huge kick. Alan Webb again. Means that uh, foul called there. Not sure what that was for. Oh, offside. Okay. I didn't see any touching. So it was a little confusing there, but offside still counts. So they're definitely going to put uh, a mark on Alan now. <laughs> they know he can score like that. And sloppy natural. Let the ball go out. Through ball there we go to Jack on the right side, chips it through, Nash will break up the pass. It's amazing to see the Chattanooga still being aggressive even though they're down a man. Well, can't sit back, you have to make advantage of it and they are. Caleb Cole, oh, a nasty tackle on Caleb Cole. That should be a card for sure. And it is. a yellow card on uh, number 20. Daniel Sassano. Thank you, Daniel Sassano. Picking up Nashville's first yellow. I suspect there could be more. Enter Nashville yellow card dealt to number 20, Daniel 
Here's the replay. It's Caleb Cold and doesn't play the ball at all, so Caleb's all right. So free kick. Chattanooga, good chance for in swinger from 24 yards out. Torres Cole. Who's along? Keeper drops it. And in it goes. the fingers. And it's in the go. <laughs> <laughs> this is Zeka. an alarming turn of events. Seca, 51st minute. The keeper, Josh Gepper, came out and made a great play on the ball, but he wasn't able to hang on to it. And in it goes. This is definitely a case of the goal, people. Watch this, folks. He comes up, he makes the right read. Bangs in the roof of the net. Zeka is Johnny on the spot. He is. He's able to get the ball in the back of the net. Fifty-first minute, Zeka makes it 2-0, Shanmuga. Which team is 10 men down again? <laughs> Do tell me, because I forget. <laughs> It's hard to tell which is which. It is, isn't it? Let's see what Nash will do next. Whatever they said to a Chattanooga FC in the locker room, things were worked. I think they fed them all on horseradish or something. <laughs> they really uh, gave them a perk yeah, up. Popeye spinach. <laughs> that could be that. <laughs> what you don't want to do if you're Nashville now is panic. Well, that's right. They need to stay calm, play their, play their game, not try something they can't do. Actually, Lever gets it away. Timely clearance. Let's really turn things around in the space of a few minutes. Really, less than five or six minutes from getting a red card. So two goals. Great tackle from Jordan Dunstan, clean and strong. He's one of the best defenders in our league. He really is. Gives Nashville a corner, but uh, great play from Jordan Dunstan. Swinging corner, flicked out. Still with Nashville. Taking a shot. Yeah, and they feel D'Amico stretch, but uh, past the uh, right hand post, I think he got a finger on it. Did he get a touch of it? Yeah. Might have gotten a... Get a corner to Nashville. The corner Nashville turned the pressure on. Might have gotten a fingernail. I think he did just touch that one. I'm not sure it was going in, but. Uh, if you're a keeper, you can't take a chance on that. So, here it comes again. Short corner, top of the D, gets the shot blocked out. And Phil D'Amico grabs that one. We've got a player down in the box for Chattanooga. Torres. There you've got a bump in the uh, melee in the box there. He's holding the back of his hand. No, it's this is Zeka. It's Zeka, I think. You're right. Yeah. But he's okay. is okay. Chattanooga has got subs warming up. If they have to take him off, they've got someone ready to come back on. So Chattanooga now playing with nine men. Let's see if the referee lets him back on. He's back on the field, nothing too serious. Oh, 
Oh, bit of a high boot there, although Nashville kind of ran into Juan Hernandez's foot, but referee has to call those nevertheless because they are kind of dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes gone, 2 0 to Chattanooga FC in the second half, despite being down to 10 men against Inter Nashville. Nice cross there, Chattanooga break it up, Nashville get it back. Not going to get it past Everson Lima. Well, Everson Lima and Jordan Dunster are the pillars of Hercules, it's going to be hard to get past them. And there's Lima again getting the touch to make the ball safe. And <laughs> gives you Hazcheck a big high five. <laughs> <laughs> Good, those two are just great. They're combining so well with Jordan as well. It is great. So, Nash will get in the corner. Hernandez knocking it out. Nash will again with a shot. Again, can't get keep it down. Tomiko stretches, but it's safe anyway. superior number, just that one extra man can make such a lot of difference. But can they use it? Well, they can't make any mistakes, and they've already made two, and it cost them two goals. That's right. Trying to get everyone back behind the ball, leaving Alan Webb up front on his own right now. Nash will not mark him too closely. He's got quite a lot of space, which is surprising. There's a nice touch on, and Nash will... Foot on the ball, but nothing, no power, and D'Amico grabs it. A little bit frustrating there. It's a long clearance. Zeka coming in. That's a foul. The referee saying, not oh, foul, but again, that's, that's hard really to just a little much. touch. Uh, and we've got another bit of Neymar here, folks. Yeah, yeah tedious Neymar effort. Three for Nashville. And that's David, David Brooks. Brooks again. Who? Yeah. Looks like he's uh, prone to a little bit of melodrama. About to die, but he'll probably be okay in a minute. <laughs> so. Oh well. So, Nashville with a free kick, trying to find space. For this coming down the right wing. Nice chance to cross. Can they get inside? Dispossessed by Torres. To Cole. Zeka. Torres. Good play. Cool and calm under pressure. Very nice. Good ball movement, good defense, everything. That's right. Jordan Dunstan up in it again. And there's plenty of time to look up. Set Webb free, and he's got it this time as Webb got away. Webb's got two on one, getting shoulder charged. Referee's not called in that, just give him a throw. Chance for Nashville. But outnumbered. Good play there. Trying to make something happen. I mean, that's what you want to do when you have more numbers is spread out the defense. Exactly. Defense. Keep passing, keep the ball moving. And wait for a gap to appear. Good cross. D'Amico right on top of it. Rapidly. Spreads the ball out, trying to find Webb, but he gets away from him. But he's, uh, each time he gets the ball, he's trying to set Alan Webb off. 
He knows he can use his speed. D'Amico proving in this game why he uh, earned Player of the Week honors from the M MPSL Absolutely. earlier this and season. Was, uh, yeah. And the voting for Player of the Season, he was featured in that too. Just, just announced today at the MPSL. Caleb Cole getting away from his man. Putting on the moves. Right across the unfortunate keepers right out of the ground. But a good move for Caleb Cole. Good individual skill. Lots of aggression and uh, good speed. Very well played. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you know about the player of the season and uh, all those results in tomorrow's game. We've got those all together. But uh, yeah, Phil D'Amico and quite a few other Chattanooga players feature. I know Coach with Elliot features there too as well. Gone. 2-0 Chattanooga. Nash will try to get something to happen. Good shot. Oh, Tomiko well saved. Save. Save. Lays out, knocks it out. Cat like reflexes. Skill from Nash though to get the shot in. Chattanooga trying not to foul in the box, so exactly. they were left Very in a pretty important. tough position. Very important to do that right now. Here comes the corner. This way it's a deep one. And D'Amico gets it again. Good read again. Reads the ball and it's there on top of it. Chattanooga throw. And we'll get our substitution for Chattanooga. Some smiles are coming on. Slight who is coming off. Alan Webb coming off, taking a break. Smarzok coming on midfielder who scores goals. Alan Webb taking the well-deserved rest after running his legs off for an hour non-stop. Well, almost non-stop. <laughs> Smarzok gives uh, Chattanooga everything that you'd want for a team that's down a man. He's mm -hmm. long, he's fast, and well, he can defend and he can score goals. So he's uh, a good all-round player. Been impressed with his play all season. Good tackle by Hernandez. Smiles off. Puts it through. Oh. Hernandez takes the shot. Oh! Great save by Joshua Gepper. Stretched his arm <laughs> and puts it behind the goal. He doesn't Anders. get his finger on it, that's the goal. That was almost sliding in, just away a corner. Smiles like already making an impact, picking out Hernandez at the top of the box to get that shot in. Good play. And Gepper absolutely had to have it. If you go down 3-0, it doesn't matter if you're up a man, it's, it's pretty exactly. tough to come back from that. To Hernandez, in the box. Where's the man? Oh, oh off, off the, the post! post. <laughs> Throw a new house jack all the way out from the back. Gets the head on it. The sound of the ball hitting the post oh. is the most painful sound a scorer can ever hear. It's, it's one of the worst ones for sure. Torres long across to Mark Smarzok. So, Lima, Lima with a cross. Right across the box. Ah, oh, no one there for it. Kept in possession. Sanchez keeps it in. Torres. In the box again, and the keeper drops it. Bit of a collision there. Yeah, undercut him. Zeka came in and had a collision. Zeka's in pain. Zeka came in and tried to. Bit too hard there and hurt himself. He tried to back heel the ball in and. He may have turned his foot, who knows. He is 
He's down. We'll take this break in the action and I'll tell you about Market City Center, Chattanooga FC's official player housing partner, luxury living at the center of it all at 728 Market Street in the heart of downtown Chattanooga, Bellhaven University. Need to finish or begin a degree? Come visit Bellhaven University at 820 Broad Street for a flexible, individualized education plan centered around what you already know. And EPB fiber optics like Chattanooga FC, they're Chattanooga's local heroes, bringing our area ultra-fast, reliable, and innovative fiber and cable. CFC is powered by EPB. So that Zek is okay. He's walking away from that. He's going to get uh, checked over by the physio. He may be subbed out, we're not sure yet. We'll check him over first. All right, play goes on. Nashville, back into action. I think Zek out is, a little bit. But... Able to come on, yeah, he's back in again. The fourth official lets him back in. Back to where we were, still 2 0. With two really good opportunities for Chattanooga. Yep, not backing off, keeping the pressure on. Not just sitting back and uh, playing defensive soccer. The park in the bus, as they call it. None of that. It's a good long ball. Maybe which, which would be reasonable. A lot of teams would do well, that. Well, they down do. There. We see the pros do it, and it's so boring. <laughs> well, we like to have not fun here. Not there, but everyone's okay. Well, we do. Try and find Caleb Cole, but not long enough. And Anders gets it back though, Caleb Cole gets it. And now he's kicked over again. Another foul from Nashville. Number 23 caused him that one. That was, who's that one? Elliot Goodwin. Elliot Goodwin again. He needs to watch out. He may pick another card. <laughs> he keeps doing that. Zeka, Zeka, back up and going. Caleb Cole, trying to find space down that left wing he likes so much. No support, he's got to do on his own. And it slips out. For a goal kick. Could have used some support there, but uh, when you're a man down here, you've got a luxury sometimes, you have to do it on your own. All right, he tried to turn the corner and it just mm -hmm. got away from him. Yeah. Hooligan still in great voice, urging a team on. Being the 12th man. In this case, at least the 11th, but it's certainly making a difference. <laughs> Let's make it the 11th. Okay, I can do the math. I can do that math. Not that bad. <laughs> I'm not great, but I can do that math. <laughs> well, I'm not one to talk. I, I... Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop that one and go on to someone else. Um, so. <laughs> I'm good at the talking part of this job, <laughs> not the counting part. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make something happen here. Again, Chattanooga getting the men back. If you watch the shape of the team, you'll see that Chattanooga get everyone back off from one striker up front, which is Zeka right now. And uh, we have substitution coming up. Cameron Woodfin's about to come on in his green boots. Seventieth minute. Cameron Woodfin, Caleb Cole comes off for a well-deserved break. I expect uh, Caleb might be anticipating playing tomorrow night too. <laughs> confusion. Yeah, that's some ball confusion. Too many balls in the field. Right, Seventy minutes played. Shannon throw. Victoria's still trying to find Zeka. Nash having a hoof it clear, but then he goes as far as you has check. Sanchez slowing it down with Lima. Torres gets there. A little bit fast and loose here, and a foul on Jordan Dunstan, which referee 
catches that one. Sucker fans, this is your last call for alcohol. Last call for beer in the semi event. If you're not in line, you're not getting a beer. Dominic puts it back into play. Longing in the natural half. Head on to Zerka. Finds Woodfin. Uh, he's in the spot where Caleb Cole was a few minutes ago. Tight little corner. Nashville trying to keep it in play and succeeding. Can they make a break happen? They cannot because Hernandez steals it away. Juan Hernandez has been making so many great defensive he really, plays. He really is. He's just dropped back a little bit and that's making all the difference. So it's Marzok, Hernandez to D'Amico, trying to stay calm under pressure. And a little bit too much on that. that. Well, Woodfin's could be about six inches tall, really got that one, but he's not. So <laughs> that's how it works sometimes. <laughs> Nashville back into play. for a cross in the box, that's a nice cross. Nelson Lima pushed it away. Mm -hmm. Half-eyed shot there. Nashville still trying to find space, can't get hold of it. D'Amico tracks it down. That was sliding mm -hmm. away to the pass the left postal. But D'Amico takes no chances and grabs it. Nashville trying to get a firm shot, if they can't do it, they just pushed out with that number and that muscle there. Chattanooga have to be careful not to give away a penalty or a foul right there. So far they're doing okay with that. I know I've already mentioned it and also I'm not a coach so I <laughs> take what I say with a grain of salt but I, it seems like Nashville's not spreading out enough and, and mm -hmm. they, when they're together like that Chattanooga's numbers really don't have to be high defensively. It's about being in the right position really. Trying to get him in the corner. Here he goes. Who's in the box though? Is there anybody there? Woodfin keeps it in play. Needs a target. He's got Zeka in the box. Plays it back to Torres. Torres, one touch. Sanchez. Woodfin. Nope. Doesn't pass back to Sanchez. Fix again. Back to Jordan Dunstan. Torres. Now there's two down there. Sanchez. Woodfin. Sanchez dummying it. Nice play. Smiles off. Now Sanchez crossing it. It's a low cross. Nashville deal with it. Push it away. Trying to get it back again. Enough. Not far enough at all. Smiles off. Hernandez. Deep in the box. Who's there? But the keeper grabs it. Drops it, but grabs it again. So that's okay. Watch this keeper. He needs to get hold of the ball better. Yeah, if you're in Nashville, you don't want to see him drop another one. You really don't. Again. No, you really don't. Oh, good tackle there. And the referee calls that as a foul. Even though it's a clean tackle from Zeka. up for this one. Deep in and too much on it. Out for a goal kick to Chattanooga. It, it really is baffling to me how much Nashville has struggled to score even though it's surprising they have an advantage. I thought they'd be yeah lots and lots of shots on they've had quite a few but nothing too threatening when the, the two that filled Amico out to save both really going out. So 
Lawrence gets head in it, but that one's really out of play, so there's a Nashville throw. Dimitrios playing a lot of these into the into the wings, the wing, wings of course, and sometimes they over over go overcook. What's the word for that? They go too far. <laughs> so Nashville trying to come forward again. Patiently building. But they're aware the clock is running down. The other thing that's amazing to me is how much Zeka has been all over the field. Yes, he's been all over the place. He covers so much ground. I think all the good players do that. I think the ones who really enjoy watching, like Juan Hernandez, they just cover, you know, more more miles per game than anybody else does, or more kilometers, if you want to call it. Now they've got There's Cam Woodfin. Can he keep it in? Oh, he just ah. trickles away. The, uh, Just the, a half step lead. Well, the crown of the field makes the ball run away in the edges a little bit because the way it drains. And it, uh, the edge, if you look at it down the field, you see there's a ridge. So. Well, now it should get interesting because CFC are bringing on Jao Costa. And we know what he can do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see who they are taking off. It looks like Zeka is taking the breather. He's had a great game. Had a great game, taking a bit of a beating. He has, hasn't he? Made another rest. <laughs> All right, Joe Costa is now the point man for CFC. The national defender's tired legs can cope with him because he is rapid. He is a handful, <laughs> to say the least. He's been away for a few injuries. There he goes now. He's going to want to get back on the score sheet. There he goes. There he goes. Sanchez. No, Torres. Torres streaking away. Holding it up. Still holding it up. Getting pushed around, but holding it up. Out for a natural throw. And Torres can do plenty of damage too. He was he did have that pass that set up. He the has first goal. scored some goals, yes. And he's uh, quite a handful. That's a long ball, I think. Still on on side, but it's it's, not it's out in time, yeah. for a goal kick. Yeah, too much on that one. So the uh, yeah. The Nashville field tends to be fairly straight, but uh, the Chattanooga field goes away at the edges. So, a couple of subs for Nashville. Number eight, number 22. Who have we got? Do we have numbers for those guys? Yeah, Leonardo Ferreira. Okay. okay. Coming in, and Henry Hilbert. Number eight, check okay. for Nashville as well. Hopefully they bring on strikers, they got any sense. Try and get something to happen for them. 12 minutes of regulation play to go. Rather, no, 11 and a half, sorry. Gaps in the defense, trying to like, threading a needle. Get in there. Get to find that little crack. So Nashville keeping the ball moving nicely. Chattanooga just got Jared Cluster up front. Nashville being patient. Here's an opportunity. Left trying to get across in. There it comes. Dunstan knocks it out. Yeah. I think this may be the way the last part of the game goes, simply trying to keep in Nashville out. Jordan Dunson again winning the header, trying to get a shot in, and that goes way off. Goal kick and number 20 there, taking the shot. That's uh, 
General Sassion. And I thought he was hurt badly in the first half. He looks right to me now. Yeah, he looks fine now. He looks fine, doesn't he? Oh, well. And D'Amico was upset, I think. Hilbert was in his space when he was trying to go for the ball, and he was not pleased about that. Costa trying to win one. He does. he comes. They should have warned him about Costa. He's still got the ball. He's got three on him. Can he get a shot in? Keeper can't oh, hold it. Chattanooga, 3-0, <laughs> second half. Cross the fingers. That's why they brought Joao Costa in the game. He puts pressure <laughs> on defenses. Cameron He's a one-man fast break. In the 81st minute. Watch the replay. Keeper can't hold it again. Woodson says thank you. Pops in the far corner. 3 0. National are not coming back from this. Hope they enjoy the ride home on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> not, not with nine minutes left in regulation. Tell me again which team is now at 10 man kill and I forget. It's, uh, well, here's the thing. Joao <laughs> Costa, he's worth like two people. He probably is worth two people, <laughs> isn't he? The hooligans are going mad about this. Nash are looking very damn beat. But they had the advantage of it, they haven't really used it. That's the thing. They, they came out fairly heavily in the first, second half and then didn't really take advantage of being the man up. Yeah, at the end of the first half, it really looked like them scoring was inevitable. And it did. somehow. I really thought they were going to get a goal. It hasn't happened. They haven't used the advantage, and now look at them. Well, they really can't come back for three down. I mean, they might get a consolation goal, but and they, I don't think they even get that this race. The, the two shots that they really had that were right. truly good shots, D'Amico made incredible saves. He did. So Nashville got a call on the far side. <laughs> so, you can tell their heads are down, can't you? They're just not. Yeah, they look stunned. They I, do, don't they? And I can understand why. Yeah. In swinger, touched away, another corner. Emerson Lima got his head on it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear the chat? Hooligans chanting. Ten men, three goals. <laughs> not what you want to hear if you want Asheville. No, not it's at all. It's a bit all. depressing. <laughs> Good thing with the ball, letting it out. For a goal kick, shooting it out, referee talking to the attackers. So. Miko's going to use as much time as he of course. could possibly well, he's can. Allowed to, he's allowed to take 30 seconds. So uh, he'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> he'll count on his head and he'll take him. January on the far side. I think this will go down as one of the great Chattanooga games coming 3 0 up and you've only got 10 men in a, a must win game, too, like this. And yeah, now, instant this classic. Really go. It is, it's one of the classics. And I've seen a lot of games at this stadium. <laughs> it's one of the best ones. When we go back and look at them all, this is one of the best ones we've had. Torres and Woodfin combining. Sanchez now coming up to the midfield. Trying to keep the ball in. And yeah. Wasn't able to. Yeah, just got past Torres. There was a bit. Just rolled up. Not enough space. <laughs> Nearly. Not enough. Sasana. Sasana passed it in. And, uh, I'm sure that was. It's just mistakes like those that have lost Nashville. That's a bit of a waste. You've got five minutes of regulation play left. You don't want to be wasting time like that. And Nash with a chance to break. And that one goes out again. They can't keep it in. That's 
Winston with the throw. Not too many targets. Nashville getting everybody back. But, uh, Chattanooga Mithra up the job. Foul given against Chattanooga. It's on uh, number 24 that. Uh, Chuka. Chuka, right. And then. Uh, a play from Nashville. Doesn't seem too much urgency from, Na from Nashville. Just uh, passing it around like the other ones wasting time. Yes. Concentrating on possession is a good thing, but it's a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> now, see if they can next up now and get the cross in. It's deep, it's long. Corner given. Good header there. Smiles off using his height. He's dropped back a little bit. He's trying to protect their lead. Another in swinger. D'Amico. Straight into D'Amico's hands I again. Mean, you're getting tired of hearing us say that, but it's straight into D'Amico's hands. Well, I don't think they ever get tired of saying <laughs> I don't get tired of saying it, but I think Nashville do. <laughs> He's uh, very good at reading those balls as they come in. And that really is what's making him a great goalkeeper. Long and ball. Costa, Costa can't quite get on the end of it, but it's still loose. Oh, Butterfingers gets hold of it this time, so that's all right. Not sure how much extra time they'll play, but there won't be too much of that, I think. Maybe three, two or three minutes. Nashville dispossessed, Hernandez still giving everything he's got on the far side. And for a Chattanooga throw. So, CFC most likely going to hang on and, and win this game. Asheville City SC. Yes, tomorrow night, tomorrow night. 7 30. Sorry, I'm stealing your thunder. Go ahead. And they, uh, <laughs> well, no, they, I'm just going to quickly say they, they played the shorter game, which should help them rest wise. And they're playing uh, Asheville as opposed to Greenville, who I imagine they don't want to see again. I think that'd be a fair assumption. I think Greenville just has nice deflection there. Costa's Costa. got it. Can't get the shot Spin away. Way. Hernandez still trying to get the ball loose. Goes through the crowd, and the referee is giving a yellow card on Nashville. It's hard to tell who that's against. So, uh, yeah, and dangerous place. Top of the D there, and that's a good Victor place to Sato. be. Victor Sato, okay. Nash were not happy about that, but they're wasting their own time, really, by protesting about it. They're better off just sucking that one up and going on, because it's going to be not going to help them by wasting the time they can use attacking. So. Alright, so we've got Sanchez over the ball. Sanchez and Torres over this one. Here we go. Torres, the shot. Oh, Ooh. just over the bar. Absolutely dangerous. From a dead ball. What a nice shot from Gabby Torres. So, into the 89th minute. Ticks on into the 90th minute of play. Uh, tonight's attendance, folks, 3,092. A good crowd for a Friday night. Remember, you can be here tomorrow night at 7.30. Get your tickets online at cfcticks.com. And uh, be here for Chattanooga FC against Asheville to play for the uh, conference championship. How about that? Be part of that crowd and enjoy some amazing soccer and a great result. Another yellow card for Nashville. Really picking up fast, aren't they? Waving Feeling these yellow cards at the microphone. You can't see it, but I like to wave at the microphone. A few folks at home that can't see. So. Nashville feeling the desperation. I think so. 
It's just frustration, isn't it, really? D'Amico's down. Cramp, possibly? Looks probably like cramp. cramp. Yeah, probably a bit of dehydration. Only one minute of time added on by the referee. So the end is very much in sight. At least for Nashville. Wait for the noise at the end, folks. The crowd are going to go absolutely ballistic. And the referee blows the whistle. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever get them to calm down. Probably not. <laughs> they might be cheering well into tomorrow. Now that the time wasted from Chattanooga. A substitution. Emerson Lima, key. Absolutely key. Emerson Lima leaves the field, replaced by Bongo Benai. Huge ovation for Emerson Lima. Everybody knows how important he's been in this game and all the other games this year. Wolfram heads the ball on to Costa. That old butler fingers grabs it this time, so they'll be the <laughs> national lives again. And Nashville, not too much urgency in their play. Free kick awarded for holding there. A bit of uh, pushing and pulling. Oh no, the referee says no, forget it. There's no point in carrying on, the game's over. 3-0 to Chattanooga FC, down to 10 men, still won the game. That's why we love Chattanooga FC.